Yeah, you have to be the man last one if you want. Um, last question, inshallah. Um, Shaykhana, what do you think, um, or what is your advice to some of the institutions and the society? Uh, sometimes you know, I allow other movements into the massage because I think maybe they would fill in a gap that they aren't filling. For example, some groups may come in and say, we, we are the Salihin, do what is agreeing, uh, uh, something that is agreeable to us. But then when they take the youth away, whether it's for three days, 40 days, or four months, all of a sudden then when they take them away to their massage, or the half of the world, or the side of the country, or the side of the uh, city, then they'll bring out the hadith and the and uh, you know, basically the people start starts to fly kind of stories. You know, that's why the knowledge is really important. Again, if you have knowledge, you know how to deal with things. When the Prophet sent Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Mu'ad and Jalil to him, and he did not send an ignorant person. Mu'ad and Jalil has some khasatis, special qualities. Yom Al-Qiyam, when he's raised up, he's going to be holding a flag. And behind him will be all of the Renama who came after him. He was one of the four people that the Prophet said to the companions. He said, Abu Bakr, Muhammad, Man, Ali, and the rest of them. Istabulu Quran in Arba. Learn the Quran from four of my companions. One of them was Mu'adh ibn Jabal. He's not ignorant. He's from the ulama of the ulama of the companions. The Prophet sent him to get out. He didn't send ignorant people. He became a Muslim with those African Americans. I can stay with them. I found brothers who go to messages and they visit messages. I went with them because I'm trying to win a relation. After one day of sleeping there, the next day they told me just to get up and talk. I said, well, what am I going to say? They said, let's come to you. They didn't mean, I'm like, no Muslim, let's come, come to me. And they encouraged me to talk. And then as I spent a little bit of time, it became quite apparent, this is not the right way. So the people who talk and get down, the people in our religion know what they're talking about. So I have a rule concerning this issue. I don't let other groups in the mystery where I'm eating man or have something to do with that. Don't let it happen. I don't let it happen. As the Quran said, what's after the truth except what's wrong, false. So everybody's entitled to come to the masjid and to worship Allah and the the freedom to do that. But I have a manna and a manna that what the Muslims are exposed to, and I'm helping to expose them to that, has to be right. It can't be based upon feelings and emotions. It's like, which is, no, it has to be right. So, where do I go? I was in Liverpool, we had a nice masjid, and in that masjid, every group was in there. These groups. I'm against all these groups. All of them. And I'm a group of group, I'm a bit against a group of Salafi brothers, call them Salafi. Ain't got to do with the group. No. Beyond Salafi. The way the companions understood the religion, what was the religion, that's what we want to be done. But anyway, point is, when I got there, that group, uh, one of those groups, they were already all of the groups, but that was the one group that could talk. I said, look, I'm going to be mad, we're going to stop this. I want to have a, a civilized discussion as to why I'm stopping it all. And I tried my best to be civilized, but they were very emotional. And it's again, like I said earlier, Everybody is willing to be patient with everybody else, except to be patient with the person on Sunnah. Yes. They were not patient, they were nice. And from those six points, is the brotherhood, they didn't show me any love. <laughs> they showed me no love. But I'm not trying to be an enemy to anyone, but the ayat told us with the alam, wa ala bin wa taqwa. Wa la ta alam, ala al ifn wa udwan. So going to places, I say let's go to places. After judging it, no conditions, let's talk together, weighing the benefits, we go. But people come into, no, no. No one should have access to the number of the people of the Sunnah and to the microphone and to the platform through the Sunnah, except the Tao to the Sunnah. When I care, I'm not, no biting my tongue, anything. But that's a double standard. Yeah, I have double standard sometimes. Mm -hmm. Do I say I am a um, minority in America? African-American, I'm a Muslim, I'm a minority. 
LGBT, they're minorities as well. So now I can't have double standards. I don't want you to treat me with racism as a minority, so therefore I can't treat those people. I gotta have open, I said, nah, I have double standards. I'm not treating them like that. And I want my rights. Because me asking you for my rights is something natural. This stuff is not natural, according to the religion that I have. So I don't use that twisted understanding. Because I don't want you to be racist towards me. I don't want you to, you know, treat me bad. So now I have to push for the rights of a group that my religion is saying this is an abomination. But when you move the low wind, move the low you change colors, this is the fit that we come up with. This, this, this crazy fit of accommodation and liberalism. And before you know it, we're not practicing Islam anymore. And why do we have to apologize? And did you guys see, and I'm dumb here, there's a white brother, I forgot his name. He was on the social media and they were asking him a bald head. They were asking him, um, do you feel superior in your religion? Something like that. And the guy was very articulate and calm about why he felt superior as a Muslim. Did you guys see that? Man, don't tell me I'm the only person in this message who saw that now. It's real, real well known right now. He's, this guy is becoming real popular. He's like a very educated guy. What? Yeah. What's his name? I don't know. He was talking about the, the male patriarchy yeah. Yeah. system. Yeah, hello. He's been talking about a few things. Yeah. Up until this point, I like what that guy's message is. But you know, so many people out there, you gotta be careful. You say something good about him, and then in two weeks he's saying he could say something crazy. I defended one of the most popular duat in the world today in English. One of the most popular. But then I had to take that defense back because I saw he couldn't answer a clear question. He's being asked serious questions. I defended him because I never saw him going to shit bitter. I never saw him um, I never saw him compromising Tohi. And some brothers started criticizing. I defended him. I said, look, well, if you can show me he's good. He's calling to share the But then I saw he can answer questions. Serious questions. Like, what's the truth? What is the truth? Is it this group, that group, this group? And he made a game and he made a laugh. He said, they call me chocolate man. It's not the time to laugh. Our community are looking at you right now. And if you can't tell them what Islam is the right one, it's a problem. So when I saw that, I didn't say he was an innovator. I didn't want against him. I said, I don't, I don't, we take that thing back. Why? Because he changed. So I don't want to give an endorsement of that other brother. What's his name? Um, forgot it. Boy, a white dude, very articulate guy. Yeah, very, very calm brother. I was trying to... Because those brothers who give dollar like that, if they gave dollar to pro progressiveness, and know what my Jai brothers like that, if they just stayed in their lane, give dollar to that. Don't start coming out and start giving down about other things. I'm going to do a little bank. Don't do that. This is where the folder comes. And a lot of knows best. He's Allah and Allah. Thank you for the honor of Allah. Thank you for the honor of Allah. Thank you for the honor of Allah. We should be grateful for the Sheikh. He sat here for approximately, he's been with us for about two hours. And the, of course, speaking is not easy. And the Sheikh has been traveling as well, and he's had a talk during the day. So we ask Allah SWT to bless the Sheikh, to honor him, to honor his uh, reputation, to keep his, to protect his reputation and his honor for the dunya and for the akhirah. And we ask Allah SWT to grant Jannah the Firdaus al A'la with the prophets and messengers, alayhim salam, salihim, siddiqeen, and the shuhada. And we hope, bi ta'ala, we can call him back uh, soon, bi idnillahi ta'ala. And with that, we ended this lecture. Barakallahu feekum wa jazakum wa khairan. Wa subhanakum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.